Ming Chao Lantern Construction coming along. Good to see you two. The Ming Chao Lantern is coming along smoothly, thank you. <laughs> We're almost done collecting the required plastrite. The project should be completed in a few days. You'll have to come by when it's done. Mm hmm. Plastrite is the main component of any Ming Xiao Lantern. Most of the donations we get from the city folk are either Mora or Plastrite. A lot of them carve their heart's desires onto the Plastrite they donate, as a prayer for good fortune and other blessings. Paimon wants some good fortune too! Let's find some Plastrite and make a wish! Hmm. Since you seem so eager to donate, how about you keep your eyes open for less common varieties of Plastrite? Those are the ones we lack the most at the moment. One is called Azerite. It is occasionally found in the northern part of Mount Tianhang. When Azerite gets caught in the roots of ordinary vegetation, it sometimes produces bloaty floaties, which have floating seeds. The other one is called Vermilionite, which is extremely dangerous as far as most people are concerned. In Guili Plains, old ruin hunters who have lost the power of flight use Vermilionite to keep themselves airborne. Well, they're just more stylish, I suppose. Actually, they're just blue and red varieties of plastrite. Gemstone merchants only gave them fancy names to try and impress their customers. Uh, the difference in their features compared to regular plastrite might be minuscule, but the difference in price is astonishing. No, 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 never mind that. Just bring some azurite and vermilionite back to me. I'm counting on you. Isn't this like... Escapes my sights. Rain cutter. Outlines your fate. <laughs> Wanya, we're back. 
with a fresh supply of azurite and vermilionite. I knew I could count on you. Let me see. Hmm. Yep, without a doubt, these are azurite and vermilionite. But don't you want to make your wishes? You brought back just enough materials for both of you. Come on, get carving. Hmm, done. Paimon prays for a bottomless stomach to eat more delicacies with. And you? Let Paimon see. Huh? Well, that doesn't sound like something you'd wish for. Oh, so you put your sister's wish rather than your own. Don't you worry. Paimon will help you find her, and we'll spend the next lantern right together. Then we'll release a gazillion shell lanterns to make up for all those wishes you've never had a chance to make. If you're done with your carvings, you can hand over your azurite and vermilionite to me. Miss Wongya. Well, hello, Chang Chang. What's up, little missy? Can't find your granddad? Granddad said he's busy and I should go play on my own. I, I want to make a shell lantern, but I don't know how. Miss Wongya, could you help me make a shell lantern? Sure thing, but promise me that you'll go back home as soon as we're done playing. With so many people at the festival, your granddad will be worried sick if you stay out too long. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Wongya. I'll be a good girl, I promise. I certainly do. That's how I made my first Mora, helping visitors make shell lanterns by the docks. Ah, oh, good times. <laughs> I should really stay here to keep an eye on the girl. Hey, could I bother you to go to the construction site at the dock and gather some building materials? Great, thanks. I appreciate it. Acting very suspicious, don't you think? Hey, what you doing? What you staring at me like that for? Get gone! Wh <coughs> huh? All right. If you all won't get gone, I'm just gonna get going myself, I guess. <sighs> wow. Paimon thought he might be a shady character. Then he opened his mouth, and now Paimon's sure of it. He must have been up to something when he was crouching down on the ground, because as soon as he saw us approaching, he stood up and acted all innocent. Paimon has a bad feeling about this. What could he be up to? Let's investigate. Well, this area is full of construction supplies for the Mingchao Lantern. Paper, oil, wood? <gasps> All highly flammable materials! On the last day of the Lantern Rite, huge crowds come out to watch the Mingxiao Lantern being released. It can't be a good sign if there's a suspicious character lurking around somewhere so dangerous. If he's been tampering with the stockpile of Lantern supplies... Let's get the materials we came for first. We can tell Wangya about the situation when we get back. Because... Because... Everyone in Lila has worked really hard for this. No one should be allowed to spoil it, period. Oh, fine. There's so many delicacies in Lila Harbor. Matsutake meat rolls, mora meat, almond tofu... <laughs> <laughs> that should be enough. Let's get back to Wangya. Did you get the materials? Ah, yes, these will do. Let me make a shell lantern for Cheng Cheng. We saw a shady character skulking around the highly flammable materials at the construction site. 
He looked like he was up to no good. I see. Okay. Please inform the Ministry of Civil Affairs about what you saw. I'll talk to Jing Ming. With so many people visiting for the Lantern, right? We can't afford to ignore something like this. Uh, Miss Wang Ya, is something bad gonna happen at the Lantern, right? Not to a darling little angel like you, Chang Chang. Come on now, good girl. Head back to your granddad and don't get distracted along the way. We don't want to make him worry. Halt! This is the Liu Wei Ministry of Civil Affairs. Yeah! We saw a shady looking guy snooping around near the stockpile of highly flammable Mingxiao lantern supplies. We must defend the grilled tigerfish food stall at all costs! Mm, goodness! This is a serious matter indeed. Exactly what Paimon thought! Liu Wei Harbor's cuisine is the heart and soul of the city! It seems we disagree on where the seriousness of the matter lies. But you're not wrong, my little friend. Rest easy. The Ministry of Civil Affairs has assigned a specialist to keep the Lantern right safe. I will inform him of this matter and order him to step up vigilance in due course. In due course? This is serious. Why not get your butt over there and tell him straight away? I wish I could, but he's yet to return. He's taken a small team to Guayli Plains. Commission? What commission? Oh, is this your way of offering to go to Guayli Plains and pass on the message for me? But you're a traveler, aren't you? You've come all this way for the Lantern Ride, and yet here you are, willing to lend a hand. Yeah! We must defend the food stalls! Let nobody touch them! Uh, absolutely. <laughs> uh, I can't thank you enough. Ah, uh, yes. No commission should go unpaid. I will take care of the compensation. Again, thank you both. Disappear! you oh thank you if it weren't for your help today may have ended quite differently i'm in charge of keeping the lantern right safe a lot comes out of the woodwork at this time of year there are thieves around every corner i encountered one during my patrol just now so i called a few men and we pursued them out here once we got here we decided to split up i was searching this area the thief seems to have made a clean getaway and 
I sure didn't bank on these monsters being here. I was just assessing whether it would be better to send for reinforcements or find another way to disperse them. And that's when you showed up and dealt with them. <sighs> and thank goodness. I don't know how long it would have taken for the others to get here. Well, I need to get back to looking for that thief. But thanks for your help. Until next time. Wait a second. We're not done here. Oh, is there something else? Uh, another one? <sighs> it's interminable. Right. Well, when I get back, I'll get the other troops to be extra vigilant in the area. <sighs> in the middle of the festival, too. What are they up to? Do you get the feeling... Paimon thinks so, too! The locals must take all their tasty treats for granted by now. But for a poor traveler, all alone out in the wilderness, often forced to survive on nothing but the most mysterious of mushrooms, for you, the Lantern Rite is the most important of all festivals! So let's go back to the place where we witnessed the shady-looking guy. Paimon hears from patrol officers that criminals love to go back for another look at the crime scene after the event. Eh, it's a psychological thing, apparently. That's why there's no time to lose! When there's highly flammable materials involved, once the crime happens, it'll be too late! Knew it! Wait! There's another person! Apologies? Lantern right? What are you doing here? Huh? Xiao? Are you here for the festival? I have no interest in Lantern Rite. I sensed a malign influence here. I'm here to investigate. When a shackle is loosened in the realms of deities and demons, I take full responsibility. But this time, the threat comes from the mortal world. Your world. Thus you shall take full responsibility, mortal traveler. When the time comes, I hope you shall act promptly and decisively. I do not wish for the tassel of the polearm that has slaughtered countless demons to become stained with mortal blood. What's this? A symbol that your suspected evildoer left behind. Doesn't look familiar to Paimon. Well, you will have to show me how much you can accomplish on your own strength. Because if I become involved, there is a possibility that the streets of Liyue Harbor will be painted red this lantern right. Well, that sounds terrible. Uh, let's not be impulsive. Why don't we figure out the origins of this symbol first? The one the suspected criminal left behind. Oh, Paimon has a sneaking suspicion that Kaya will know something about it. Well, well. Long time no see. Kaya! We went to the Lantern Rite in Liyue! Ah, well. 
How was it? Fun? Delicious. Well then, you ought to be looking forward to Mondstadt's Ludi Harpastum. I'm sure it will be to your liking. Right, right. Kaya, there's something we need to tell you about. Hmm. Lantern supplies. Stockpile of wood, paper, and oil. At the very least, it sounds like an accident waiting to happen. <laughs> How very amusing. What makes you think I would recognize this symbol? Exactly! Uh-uh. You should watch what you say, honorary knight. What do you mean, flirt with the dark side? The Knights of Favonia certainly does not have dealings with its enemies. That has to do with a certain knightly virtue called integrity. Anyway, I digress. This is the symbol of the cross-border criminal organization you know as the Treasure Hoarders. If you are curious to know more, I can put you in touch with an informant on the inside. Uh, didn't you just say the Knights of Favonius don't have dealings with their enemies? This is my own personal informant. Nothing to do with the Knights of Favonius. A little later, make your way over to Windrise. I'll arrange for the informant to meet you there. Thanks, Kaya! Oh, and remember, wine begets wisdom. Informant? Informant? <laughs> Not me. But this is the place we agreed upon. And you're the only other one here, so... Place we agreed upon? <sighs> I know nothing. Ugh. Stop being so annoying. Okay, yeah, it's me. How? Was any of that even Necessary. What do you want to know about? <sighs> Here's the situation. Okay, I see. So, what can you tell us as an insider? I do not think this is the work of the treasure hoarders. The reason the treasure hoarders are able to sustain a giant cross-border operation is because they abide by one fundamental principle. Caution. Softly, softly, catchy monkey is the name of the game for them. By contrast, the idea of taking huge risks to try and make a fortune is utter folly in their eyes. Li Yue has the Adepti looking after it, doesn't it? And they're especially active during the Lantern Rite. There's just no way that we, uh, uh sorry, they, <laughs> slip of the tongue, when you've been undercover as long as I have, <laughs> uh, well, was I? Uh, oh, yes. Uh, there's no way that they, the treasure hoarders, would dare make a move during the Lantern Rite. Also, the treasure hoarders organization in Liyue recently received an anonymous letter. Why did someone send them an anonymous letter? Oh, trying to frame them, perhaps? Nobody knows. But what I can tell you is which branch of the treasure hoarders has the letter in their possession. There. I've marked their location on the map for you. Great! Well, Paimon thinks this was productive. This is our only solid lead. Let's not waste it. If there's nothing more, I should get back to treasure hoarding. Uh, I mean, get back to those treasure hoarding lowlifes. To uh, spy on them. 